hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Dustin. you're welcome to another tutorial on the channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to draft a kimono and for this kimono this kimono comes with the sleeve so i'll be teaching us how to draft the kimono alongside the sleeve but before we go into the tutorial proper kindly subscribe to my channel share my videos comment like i would like to see your comments in the comment sections share the videos then turn your post notification on so you'll be notified each time i post videos please don't go without subscribing thank you so for the tutorial today we'll be needing some measurements and the measurements we'll be needing we'll be needing our straight measurements with our shoulder to bust shoulder to waist and shoulder to the length of the kimono the desired length you might make it get to your knee length if that is what you want you can make it get to your hip length if that is what you want you can make it stop above the knee it depends on you so today i'll be drafting the one that will stop on my hip and the next another measurement we'll be needing will be needing the back measurement which which is the shoulder to shoulder measurement we'll be needing the measurements then we'll be needing our round measurements which are the bust round the waist round and the round of the hip which is the length of where my kimono will be getting to so let's just go into the tutorial proper so the first thing i'll be measuring i'll be taking my straight measurements i'll be taking my straight measurements my shoulder to my bust is 10 inches my shoulder to my waist is 16 inches then shoulder to the length of the the shoulder to the length of the kimono is 24 inches but i'll just be leaving it at the end of the paper this is 24.5 inches which is also okay so i'll be ruling that out let me just get the straight line so i'll be measuring it again here shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to waist 16 inches so i'll be ruling that out This is the back block i'll be drafting the back block first so i'll be taking my neckline measurements for this back block of this kimono i'll be using 2.5 inches depth i hope you can see that 2.5 inches depth and three inches width then i'll be getting my back measurement This is my three inches width. I'll be getting my back measurement, which is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is my back measurement. And on that back measurement, I'll be going down one inch for shoulder slope. So let me just connect this. And let me get the neckline. So this is my neckline for the back and this is the shoulder slope. Now the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be getting the sleeve. You know I said we are drafting the sleeve together with this kimono. So to get the sleeve, this is my shoulder slope. I hope you can see this. Let me bring it closer. So this is my shoulder slope. I will extend it out. This is my shoulder slope. Just like the way it is, I will extend it out to the desired length of the sleeve I want. But first let me just extend out freely this is my shoulder slope so i've extended this out so i'll be using eight inches sleeve length this is eight inches that's the desired sleeve length i want on this eight inches let me bring this closer on this eight inches i'll be connecting it down to meet the bust line this is the bust line this is the waist so I'll connect it from here to the bust line. So I connected it from this, my desired sleeve line. This is the desired sleeve length. So this is my desired sleeve length. So I connected from here connected from the desired sleeve length to meet the bust 
Now, now I'll be taking my round measurements and I'll be doing some calculations for us to see. So for my bust, my bust is 38 inches. I hope you can see this. My bust is 38 inches. Let me just make this closer. So my bust is 38 inches. I'll be adding 4 inches is allowance is allowance to it then I'll be dividing by 4 so that is my 38 inches plus 4 inches divided by 4 which is 42 divided by 4 which gives me which gives me 10.5 inches so that my 10.5 inches I'll measure it here this is 10.5 inches I just hope you can see this Yes, that is 10.5 inches. Now, I'll do the same calculation for my waist. My waist is 30, 30 plus 4, which is 34. Then I'll be dividing by 4. That gives me 8.5, just like I did for my bust. So I'll be going to the round of my base, which is the base of my kimono. The my hip, I'll be using my hip measurement. My hip round measurement is 40, 40 plus 4, 44, then divided by 4, that is 11 inches. So I'll be taking my 11 inches here. So I'll be connecting now. I'll connect from my hip to my waist, then from my waist just into this point of my bust. So see, this is it. You can see it already looks like a kimono. So this is the back. This is how we'll be cutting through, just like this. So this is how the back of my kimono is. I'll be cutting this out later, but let's go to the front block. For the front block, you are drafting on fold. If you are using your fabric direct, you are doing a free hand. You are not using pattern. You, you you cut this or you, you mark this out on fold. And when I mean unfold, I mean your fabric will be folded this way. Let's assume this is your fabric. Let's assume this is the fabric you are using. You fold it this way. So you start taking your measurement. That is what they mean by unfold. That is what unfold means. But for the sake of this paper, I'll just be using this sheet. So... The next thing I'll be doing is getting my neckline. I'll be using a neck width of 3 inches just like I did for the front. I mean just like I did for the back. So that is 3 inches. So taking my back measurement which is 8 inches. I'll drop down 1 inch for slow. And I'll be connecting. So for the for the front block, I'm not going to be taking a neck depth. You'll see what I'll do to the neck depth as we proceed. So, so I'll extend this out just to get my 8 inches desired sleeve length. Take my desired sleeve length, which is 8 inches. So that is my desired sleeve length. Then I'll be taking my straight measurements. Guys, if you've watched to this point and you really like what you're seeing, kindly subscribe to my channel, please, and give this video a thumbs up, please. Please, don't just watch and live like that. Please, just give the video a thumbs up, share the videos. It will really go a long way, please. Just like I did for the front, I'll be proceeding to connect from here to my bust. This is my bust line. So I'll be connecting from here, the desired sleeve length to my bust line. That is it just like I did for the back block. Now the next thing I'll be taking, just like I did for the front, I'll be taking my round measurement. I'll be taking my round measure measurement, I'll add four to it and I'll divide by four, just like I did for the front. So for my bust, 38, 38 plus four, 42, divided by four, 10.5 inches. For my waist, my waist is 30. 30 plus 4 divided by 4 is 8.5 inches. Now for the length, which is the round of the 
desired kimono length, which I'm using my if if is 40, 40 plus 4, 44, 44 divided by 4 is 11. And I'll be connecting just like I did for the back. So that is it. Now, now for the neck depth of this kimono, we'll be connecting from this our neck width down to this bust line here. So let me connect. This is how it is. From this point of the neck width, we'll connect just the way it is to this point. So I connected from this three inches neck width. I connected it to the bust point here. So the next thing I'll be doing is cutting it out. I'll be cutting out the back block first. So this is the back block of the kimono. I'll be going ahead to cut the front block off. So this is how it is. I hope you can see them. So thank you for watching today's tutorial. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments in the comment section. I'll be glad to read your comments. And share this video. And give it a thumbs up if it is useful to you. And please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't leave without subscribing. It will really go a long way. So thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.